Nicki Minaj just had a Twitter tirade, and I am here to talk about it for a few minutes because not only was the rant odd as fuck, but it just seemed incredibly misplaced. I don't know who Nicki Minaj is angry with or at. Uh, it just seems as though she's complaining for the sake of complaining because her album didn't reach the number one spot. And I can see this being an issue for an artist that claims that she is the number one artist or one of them. For those who don't know, I made a video months before Nicki Minaj ever came out with her album Queen telling people that I felt she was going way too hard with this idea that she was number one and it would likely come back to bite her in the ass if she came in under anything than that. Now we see her going crazy on Twitter because her album came in to the number two spot and if you look at Billboard right now, Travis Scott is still dominating the charts with Sicko Mode, Stargazing, Carousel, Yosemite, Rest in Peace, Screw, uh, Stop Trying to Be God, No His whole album is a part of the Billboard right now. In Fifi, Nicki Minaj's attempt at trying to add more streams to her numbers uh, is still following Travis Scott. I mentioned in my album review for Queen that Nicki Minaj was spending far too much time staring at space and staring at the stars and that she wasn't acknowledging the thing that was supporting her on her feet which was the ground which would which would be her fan base right when when you look at this you just see how ungrateful of an artist Nicki Minaj truly is because for some odd reason she seems to think that doing over a hundred thousand or over a hundred fifty thousand close to isn't still okay I've never seen an artist who is truly about the art, which we all know Nicki Minaj isn't at this point, so that's a moot point, but if you were truly about the art and you really appreciated being in the music industry and you really appreciated making music and you really appreciated your fan base, why wouldn't you be still satisfied with, oh, these aren't bad numbers? I don't know. I know there's a lot of people that are clowning Nicki Minaj for her streaming sales right now, but let me just be the first to tell you, these aren't bad numbers. But when you spend half your career telling people that you're number one, I guess these are. So Nicki Minaj goes on this Twitter rant and basically says her album rollout wasn't the exact same or it wasn't treated the same way that they would a Drake. It felt like people were against her. It felt like there was always someone to blame for her uh, lack of adequate uh, music or something like that. As if, if it, as if somebody was to blame if people just genuinely didn't want to hear Nicki Minaj records. And I'd hate to let her in on this news, but a big portion of that is number one people may just enjoy travis scott's record more than they enjoy Nicki minaj's record i mean i know travis scott his most recent album the one that came before this one i believe it was uh, birds in the trap did barely a hundred thousand or uh, rodeo uh, did around 90 as well but the thing about this album Astro World is People have been waiting for it for so long, knowing it was supposed to be in some way an ending or sequel to uh, Rodeo to a degree, knowing that this would continue the same sound, but just a different theme or a different thematic element, knowing that this was going to be a very highly anticipated album from Travis Scott. He's gotten much bigger. He's gotten a, a, a much larger fan base in being in, in a relationship with Kylie Jenner. No one's debating with you on that Nicki Minaj. But... I think she's assuming that people are these mindless zombies that just give their money to whatever they're marketed, as if people don't genuinely have interest in the things that they're purchasing. Nicki Minaj not long ago had this uh, issue with DJ Academics reportedly uh, uh, giving false numbers for her uh, almost first week sales, and uh, now that she's reported to do even less than that, now the rant comes into play. Now it's time to blame people. Now it's time to go at everybody else's neck. Now it's time to blame Travis Scott and, and Kylie Jenner uh, for helping the person that she's with sell more albums. Again, I repeat, people purchase things that they're interested in. They're not buying things simply because it's advertised to them. You think anyone who wasn't trying to hear Scorpion bought it because Spotify was advertising it all over the fucking place? No. If anything, they were annoyed, but that didn't make them buy the album. People bought it because they wanted to hear a Drake record. People bought Travis Scott's album because they wanted to hear a Travis Scott album. One, Spotify wouldn't wouldn't try to sell a, a, a Nicki Minaj album and, and a Drake album the same way. That to me makes no sense. It's like trying to sell an XXX Tentacion record in the same way that you, that you would a Michael Jackson album if they were both alive. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. Two different artists, two different fan bases, one significantly larger than the other. It, it's not an equal comparison. Second, Nicki Minaj did the exact same thing with Fifi, uh, an album or, or a track, I'm sorry, that wasn't even supposed to be 
on the album serves no purpose contextually to the album Nicki Minaj is only a feature on that song and she puts it on her album in an attempt to get more streams and then you come at Travis Scott because even if it was or wasn't an attempt to get more streams or more sales you come at him because he was successful at it but you tried a similar thing and still failed I say Nicki Minaj needs help because she presents herself in a very ungrateful way she presents herself in a way that isn't appreciative of the uh, of the realm that she's at right now I mean she's 35 she's a female artist it's already difficult enough for them to get to the plateau that she's been at for the past seven or so years I don't want to feel bad for Nicki Minaj this is the same artist that was trying to bash and rip down Lil Kim's legacy for from the years of like 2008 to 2015 we don't need you to act as if something horrible is happening to just you no one's attacking Nicki Minaj if anything the people like me that are coming out with these videos now are upset with the fact that she's blaming artists who are more talented who are more adventurous than she is blaming streaming services like Spotify as if people honestly wouldn't have gone to get your album if they really wanted to hear it you know how you do you realize how many different ways I would have purchased Astro World? if it wasn't available on Apple Music or if they had given me knowledge that it were available on other streaming platforms first that would have been my first Spotify subscription what the fuck like what do you think yes I would purchase another streaming service if it meant that I could listen to the album earlier but again I say these numbers that Nicki Minaj did are not bad they are bad to her because she spent so much of her career claiming that she's number one so when you come in the number two spot now it's everyone else's fault now it's your label now it's spotify now it's travis now it's kylie now it's the fucking baby honestly this is still a w for Nicki minaj you are a relevant female artist that has yet to fall completely off you are still selling a very high number of albums you are bitching for no reason you could have legitimately dropped this album faded into the background and, and you'd have been fine what is the problem with selling almost 80,000 pure units? What is the issue? It's almost like she's acting like she hasn't been in the game for a decade. You've been out this bitch for a long time. What the fuck? Drake at some point is going to start selling less. Jay-Z at some point has begun selling less. Eminem at some point has begun selling less. All the great artists at some point are going to sell fewer and fewer albums that and because there are newer artists to take their spot but you it seems as if you don't want that to happen it seems like you're clinging on to this shit so hard and not accepting that people along with their art is going to age people are going to get tired at some point of hearing you i believe ice cube said in an interview not long ago that a lot of artists have th about three years at their peak and while i do disagree with the time frame for certain artists I can say that he's not wrong in saying that every artist has has a specific time frame that they are at their best. I can tell by the way Nicki Minaj is reacting to this news that she's not used to people disagreeing with her. She's used to having a bunch of yes men around. When bad news happens, this is not how you respond. This is not how you react. You you still you still have a W, Nicki Minaj. There's no one to blame if you want it to be number one. There's no one to blame except you and your fan base that's it i mean feel free to hand me a w i mean i called out Nicki minaj's insecurity like four or five months ago before the album even came out and people were telling me i was wrong then her album comes out she sells pretty well and she's still complaining that is insecurity at its finest you having a perception of yourself that's different than your reality you still sold well but you still think you did bad get her out of here get get her out of here i, I, I don't I, no. get her out of here um thank you for watching been Sean C. Let me know how you feel about this controversy or whatever it is in the comment section down below. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. Go in Nicki Minaj's comment section. Give her some W. She still sold well. Even if I didn't like her album, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you for watching. I'm out.